retainage options for accounts receivable in Acumatica Construction Edition. Acumatica Construction Edition gives you several options for calculating accounts receivable retainage. Standard retainage is used when you want to hold back a percent of the total invoice amount. Stepped retainage allows you to change the percent of retainage held based on the job's percent complete. For example, you might want to apply retainage of 10% until the job is 50% complete, but then drop retainage to 5% until the job's 100% complete. Contract cap lets you calculate and apply retainage up to a calculated cap amount or limit. For example, you might want to calculate 10% retainage up to a 50% cap. After that, no retainage will be held. Another option is contract item cap. This is similar to contract cap, except you specify the limit or cap for each line on the revenue budget. Let's go to Acumatica Construction Edition and review each retainage type. Let's start out with standard retainage. Here's a project that is configured with standard retainage. On the summary tab of the project, in the retainage section, retainage mode is set to standard. You can see retainage is set to 10%. On the revenue budget tab, you can also see from here that retainage is set to 10%, and the job is currently 20% complete. Let's run project billing and see how standard retainage calculates. Based on the 20% completion, the amount that we're invoicing is 2.8 million, which is multiplied by the 10% retainage to calculate a retainage total of $280,000. When using standard retainage, we're simply multiplying the total invoice amount by the retainage percent, 10% in this example, to calculate retainage. Now let's look at an example of stepped retainage. Stepped retainage lets you specify a different retainage percent to be in effect up to a threshold of completion. When you click the Use Steps box, a grid appears, so you can enter your threshold completion percent and the associated retainage percent. In this example, we'll apply 10% retainage to any billing up to the 40% completion threshold. Then the retainage drops to 8%. When we hit 60% completion, retainage drops to 5% for the duration of the job. Note that our contract total is $14 million. On the revenue budget tab, the percent complete has already been set to 50%. Let's go back and take another look at our retainage settings. We have a contract total of $14 million and the job is 50% complete. This means the first 40% of the contract falls under our first tier and we'll have 10% retainage held. The remainder falls under our second tier and we'll have 8% retainage held. Let's run project billing and see how stepped retainage calculates. The invoice total is $7 million, 50% of our $14 million contract total. The retainage total is $672,000. Let's take a closer look at how that $672,000 of retainage was calculated. We'll use Excel to make it easy to see the calculations. In this example, we used three tiers. Zero to 40% completion at 10% retainage is the first tier. 41 to 60% completion at 8% retainage is the second tier. And 61 to 100% completion at 5% retainage is the last tier. If you break down the amounts to be invoiced by tier, you see that 5.6 million, the first 40%, will have retainage of 10%. The next 2.8 million will have retainage calculated at 8%. And the remaining 5.6 million will have retainage calculated at 5%. In this example, we ran a 50% billing. 
for an invoice total of $7 million, as you can see right here. Let's look at the retainage calculations. The entire first tier, the first 40% or the 5.6 million that you see right here was multiplied by 10% for a retainage amount of $560,000. The remaining 1.4 million all falls into the second tier. Because we're billing 50%, we're not exceeding the second tier threshold of 60%. So the remaining 1.4 million is multiplied by 8% for a retainage total of 112,000, which gives us a retainage total of 672,000. When using stepped retainage, the percent of retainage changes based on the jobs percent complete. The next retainage option is contract cap. Contract cap retainage lets you calculate and apply retainage, but retainage is capped at a specified percent of the contract total. On the project summary tab, the retainage mode is set to contract cap. In this scenario, we've agreed to 10% retainage with a cap at 50% of the contract total. To the right of the cap percent is a calculated field showing the retainage cap amount. This amount is calculated as the contract total times the 10% retainage, which would be 1.4 million, then multiplied by the cap. So 50% of the 1.4 million which gives us the $700,000 retainage limit or cap. Once we've held $700,000 of retainage, no additional retainage will be calculated or applied. Keep in mind that contract cap retainage always looks at the current contract total for calculations. Now you may have noticed this option to include change orders in retainage. Let's say for example, a change order hits your revenue budget and results in a million dollar increase. This contract total would now be $15 million and the retainage cap amount would recalculate based on the revised $15 million budget. The recalculation would take the $15 million contract total times the 10% retainage to get 1.5 million and then take 50% of the 1.5 million making the new retainage cap $750,000. Contract cap retainage always looks at the current contract total when calculating the contract cap amount. If the contract total changes, the contract cap recalculates to reflect the change. The last retainage option is contract item cap. The contract item cap retainage type is very similar to the contract cap retainage we just looked at, except the cap amount is calculated on each line of the revenue budget. On the project summary tab, the retainage mode is set to contract item cap. Retainage is set to 10%. Let's look at the revenue budget. The contract item cap amount is calculated similar to contract cap, except it's calculated for each line on the revenue budget. We take the revised budgeted amount times the retainage percent times the cap percent to calculate the retainage cap amount. The cap amount is specified right here on each line of the revenue budget. When using contract item cap, each time you run project billing, retainage will calculate, but only up to the retainage cap amount calculated for each line. Today we reviewed four types of accounts receivable retainage, standard, stepped, contract cap, and contract item cap. If you'd like more information about Acumatica Construction Edition, please visit acumatica.com.